So the objective with this project assignment is that I want you to demonstrate your grasp of all the things that we've learned to date, plus the things that we're about to learn in the, in the, the coming weeks. So that includes all those database searching strategies, those alignment approaches that we've been covering, uh, sequence analysis that, that, we'll, that we'll delve into, some structure analysis, but also some coding with this R environment that we're going to start learning uh, this week in class and, and throughout the rest of the class. So we're going to put all these things together and doing it in a more uh, kind of project-based based approach. It'll hopefully tie together a lot of elements of the course so you can see the similarities and the commonalities and how they complement each other. So the idea here is that uh, you'll create a report. And I've got uh, links, of course, to the, the, the all of this on our class website, including an example report for this quarter. You can see one that, that I've done that is filled in that has example answers, and you're welcome to do uh, any other gene out there in the in the universe apart from the one I use in the example report because it's already been done for you. I use beta globin there, the thing that we covered right back in our first class, and I walk through all those steps. So you'll see an example of what a successful report looks like. See what success looks like there by checking that out, and we'll, and we'll uh, have a look at that in a, in a moment together, and I'll walk you through some of it. Now, there's two important points here at the bottom. Of this slide that I want to that I want to make sure you're aware of that is that we've divided it up for for this uh, term for this quarter into two sections. I want you to uh, there's ten questions in total, but I want you to answer questions one to four relatively quickly. So you see they're due May fifth, so fifth of the fifth, 2020 here. So there should be no uh, ambiguity about it. Uh, and the reason for that is these first four questions in ideal circumstances they can be done pretty quickly. You know, 30 minutes. 40 minutes max, something like that. You can do these first four questions and, and uh, find a gene that's, that's novel, something that we'll then explore in the following six questions and put some more meat on the bones, if, if you will. Now, I'm asking you to turn that in on May 5th because I want to give you feedback on it right away. I don't want you to do what can happen in these kind of online courses is that you know there's a project to do, but you know you're busy with other things and and you kind of put it off and you leave it to the last minute and then you've got the entire thing to do all at the last minute and you struggle with question three or question four and then you're you're kind of snookered you're kind of like ah, getting frustrated and and if you just give yourself more time it would have been easy right so the only reason and i'll stress this again the only real reason for you not to get all the marks in this project uh, and learn a great deal from it is that if you leave it to the last minute and I know it's human nature especially in these times to put things off and there's always other things to do and distract us but I really want you to encourage you not to do that I want you to kind of work on it consistently little bit by little bit especially the first four questions so I'm requesting that you turn them in early on May 5th uh, which is you know following Tuesday two weeks time and then we'll give you feedback we'll give you a thumbs up and say in grade scope yeah you're great Please continue, and then you have the entire rest of the, the quarter right until our last week to finish all the other questions. And you'll be happy, and it'll be a weight off, okay? So don't leave it to the last minute. Now, back uh, or, or forward to June 5th and, and that final week, I want you to submit your entire ans report, your answers to all questions, all 10 questions, not just questions 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It'll actually only be fully graded at the end, so there'll be no points given to you on May 5th when you put in the first four points. You'll just get a thumbs up saying, yeah, looks great. Or maybe think again and there's not enough here to give you full marks later on. So we'll give you that initial feedback and the, the full thing will be graded right at the end and we'll all get 20% and we'll all be happy and we're not going to leave it to the last minute, right? Deal? With me on this? Okay. I remember I could hear you all saying yes okay let's let's keep going so if I click on that report it'll bring up a PDF with the questions in it and I'll maybe um, uh, we can we can talk about these in a, in a little more detail uh, one of the, the where, where you find this of course this PDF here is on our class website under the schedule page there's a whole little block for this week's class on project find a gene project assignment and you'll see a description of it it's a required assignment for this, this course. You may wish to consult the scoring rubric right at the end of that report. So let me pull it up here. I'm going to click 
here on this example report and then pull that up here. So let's see how that works. Yeah, great. So I've got it right here. So you can see question one. It tells me um, here, tell me the name of a protein you're interested in. Okay, so I picked beta globin. You can pick any other one in the universe that isn't beta globin. And I include the species that I'm most interested in. And you know, I'm kind of biased. And I like humans, right? So I'm picking humans here. And I tell it the accession number. This is the ref seek accession number for the globin that I pick. That's a good idea to pick a ref seek uh, accession here as well when you're doing your own uh, project. And then I go and go searching. I go looking. I do a little bit of a detective hunt, similar to the things we've been doing in our in our uh, lab class. And I go and I search uh, uh, ESTs, express sequence tags, and I find something in nematodes, in worms. Right? These are uh, model organisms, of course. The C. elegans, you might have, of course, heard of, but there are others. This is the nematodes, like Briggsii and others. And I find this beta globin like thing in there. And I go and dig into it and say, has anyone realized that this is a beta globin? Um, am I sure it's a beta globin? So these questions will guide you through it. We're gonna, I'm going to put in a screenshot of what I'm doing. I search for this, this thing here with nematodes. And I chose this uh, uh, particular, particular hit. I show my blast results. Critically, I show the table of score statistics, like it's got a good coverage, a good low E value, meaning it's unlikely to be a false positive. And it's, it's got a, a, a pretty good identity score, 47%. So it's not exactly the same thing. It's definitely different, uh, but it's still likely to be a homolog. And that's the key here, you know, this, this kind of sweet spot that we want to appreciate what is homologous, what is descended from a common ancestor, and close enough that it likely still is a globin-like thing and doing globin-like functions, or in your case, functions related to the gene that you're interested in. And, and then we go and annotate it. No one else in the world knows that this is a globin, but we do. We can follow this trail and go and answer these questions further on in this report and prove it. We can do uh, alignments here of this thing. Here's the protein sequence from this nucleotide sequence that I've translated. And I go and I prove that no one else has seen that this is a globin before. I go and search in the main uh, databases here in NR. I remember this, uh, the non-redundant protein sequence database, the NR, the large one. And I search for it and I find a hit back. It's not 100% identity. If it was 100% identity, 100% coverage, that means that my sequence was in there. And if it's called globin, then someone else has already realized that this is a globin in this species. In this case, I don't find a hit with 100% identity, 100% coverage uh, that's annotated as a globin or a hemoglobin. So I found a new globin in these worms. And I want you to do the same for your protein of, or gene uh, of choice. It'll probably be a protein coding gene because then we'll have more to work with later on. So that's the brunt of those first four questions. Uh, and you can see I'm putting little screenshots in. I did this in, you know, Microsoft Word, right? And put them in and then saved my report as a PDF. And I submitted it to Gradescope and I got full marks, just like you'll get, right? You'll get your thumbs up. And then we'll go and we'll go and uh, dig in and in later sections of the report, you'll see, and you can scroll through this at your leisure. We make more multiple sequence alignments. These. Uh, trees or dendrograms, these phylogenetic maps that, that we'll talk about, and heat maps, these are all made in R, and, and we delve into the, the structure and, and, and other things and look at uh, drug-like molecules for this, for this protein that we might uh, begin our, if we were going to take this further and start working on this in the lab, and we wanted to test its activity and prove maybe that it is a globin, we would take one of these compounds that we find that works on other globins, and see, for example, here, if it has an effect on these worms. That would be a, a reasonable first starting point. So please, you know, I, I realize there's a lot of information to digest here. There's 10 questions. Have a look through them. Concentrate on those first four questions initially and get us something back as soon as possible. Submit it to Gradescope and you see that we grade things pretty quick. We'll give you a thumbs up or, uh, you know, maybe think again. This isn't going to be a good candidate later on. It maybe will not give you the right... Uh, amount of material so you can get full points later so we'll have that check-in point and then off you go okay to get full marks okay so good luck everyone and of course questions 
on this are very welcome whenever you uh, whenever you have them uh, on Piazza is a great place to post them.